What's good, denizens of the world? I go by Jacob L. Morris, and welcome to What's Up, Universe? All right, so first off, you thought we were done with Ryan Reynolds? No. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. Just take a second. Oh, wait. You guys done yet? Okay, our first story isn't a big deal. It's just that Malia and Sasha Obama met Ryan Reynolds. And look at this picture. Check it out. Look at that. I love it how the president of the United States, the most powerful man in the world, has two daughters who are obsessed with a movie star. That is awesome to me. I don't know why, but it just is. Not important at all, but hey, who cares? Oh, and to any of you who think I'm going to make a comment about Malia Obama, no. Dude, she's like 17. But I will let this Instagram post explain it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna get bombed. So who of you out there are in the video games? Come on, I know you're there. Come on, it's okay. It's cool. Come on, I know you put like 150 hours in a Destiny, Aaron. It's cool. Right now I'm bringing you guys a Let's Play of American Truck Simulator. That will be coming soon. Probably tomorrow or the next day. And I've been having a lot of fun. And the game is literally about driving a truck from one place to the other. That's it. You're just a truck driver and it's hella fun. But anyway, you'll get that later. So this story is about Microsoft actually allowing users to cross play. Basically what that means is if you have an Xbox One, as you know, you can't play with PS4 people and then they can't play with PC people. So it's kind of lame. Plus I know I'll kick your ass at Black Ops 3. Get at me, bro. Which is shitty because we all have different consoles. You know, I have a PS4, a couple of my best friends have Xbox and I want to play with them. What the hell? So this future update coming to Microsoft would actually allow us to cross play. Thing is, they need permission from PlayStation as well, so some games won't be able to do it still. The awesome news is if you played Rocket League at all, awesome game. Trust me. It's like imagine if you had a car with a freaking rocket engine, and it's soccer, and it's the best thing ever. Here, check it out. Actually, you know what? You don't even have to check it out. I'm going to put it up on the screen. It's going to be up there. So cool. So it's awesome because that game is coming soon. It'll be cross-platform, so they'll test it out, and hey, maybe it'll be good. We'll see how it goes. So next, let's talk about the immigration crisis in Greece and Macedonia. Yay! Wait a minute, that's not fun. Wow, is he really going to talk about immigration crisis and human rights violation? Yeah, I guess, man. I thought this channel was all about girls, booze, and parties. What the hell? Where's all the fun stuff? All right, so let's get into it. As you're probably aware, thousands of immigrants have fled from Syria, Iraq, and other parts up to Europe, as well as other parts of the world. Recently in Greece, there's a city called Idomeni right next to the Macedonia border. This camp has been plagued with heavy rains over the last couple days, so conditions there have deteriorated. This has caused about a thousand immigrants to flee across the Macedonia border, crossing the Suva River and breaking down the barbed wire fence. Some claim that they weren't breaking it down, some claim that they just found a hole. Either way, it's a bad situation because authorities have said that several have drowned in this river. Even though the migrants are forming a chain to cross, there have been a few that have not made it. It's scary because the conditions that these migrants are kept in are bad, but at the same time, the countries don't have the capacity to take them. So the question is, what do they do? And this is where I want to ask you, what do you think they should do? Please comment down below. I'd like to know. I know with recent elections, we're both scared of immigrants ourselves. So what do we do? Do we allow them to rot in these camps? Or do we bring them in? But at the same time, are we jeopardizing jobs? or livelihoods, it's hard to say. I don't know, I'm on the side of letting them in, but at the same time I know with floods of immigrants, there can be negative consequences. Or can there be? It's hard because we're fed all these ideas, but are they actually that bad? I don't know. Sorry guys, I left you with such depressing news, but guess what? Here's two puppies in top hats. If that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Or maybe you just don't have a heart. Or maybe you're voting for Hillary Clinton. You don't even like puppies anymore? You're dead inside, Karen. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching today's What's Up, Universe. Anyway, my name has been Jacob L. Morris. You know who I am. You know who what I also know. Does he have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat? Hit me up on him. Thank you so much, everyone. Like this video, subscribe, and yeah, we'll see you.